Are you guys tired of the stringing? I know I am. Do you want perfect prints? bit of slip 2000 on your filament just run your fingers up and down a little bit use that grease with some encased ball bearings get rid of the old ones use that thermal paste for your nozzle and your thermistor use the M X6 for your threads on your heat break and the top male portion change your Bowden tube to Capricorn you will end up getting really good prints. You will end up getting really good prints with very little string. They are almost perfect. Frankly, Bill has a YouTube channel. He is 100% correct. If your gantry is not straight up and down, or your x-axis is not perfectly parallel, see the little white dot right there? The little white dot right there. It has to be perfectly parallel. And don't just do the top. Check your bottom. If your bottom is not lined up and your top is, you have to unscrew these bolts back here and get it parallel. And you most definitely can have the top lined up without the bottom. Believe me, I've done it. So take your extruder apart, change these bearings. These are the old ones. These are the new encased. Make sure you pack it with a little bit of grease. And you will see a huge, huge change in your prints. No more heat creep. Your prints will be running smooth. Make sure you get a square. Check your gantry make sure it is straight up and down and you will have very little stringing no more heat creep this is an all metal hot end on the uh, Elegoo Plus the Mindiga the Mindiga is a complete another story I bought it new but they gave it to me used and I should have filmed it these bearings that were inside of it were rusted and destroyed. My prints on this were hateful. I was so upset. I actually threw it in the trash. And the garbage man actually knocked on my door and said, Hey, you have a 3D printer in your trash. Do you want it? And I actually thought about it. and I got it. I took it back. And I worked on it. And now it's printing perfect, just like my Elegoo. That's the plus. This is the max. I put Y axis rails on this, and I will soon do X axis rails. And they are from China. No movement. They're quiet. Sound great. My retractions on this are still really low, so there is a little bit of stringing on this. Uh, the bearings have been changed. I think my 
retraction is uh, 1.3 and it needs to be like 2, uh, 2.2 or 2.4, somewhere in there. And that little bit of stringing there will go away. That's little spider webs though, nothing major. Nothing that a, uh, a lighter can't take care of. And as you can see, I'm also printing really fast at 90. Same with this one. I'm printing fast at 90. This Mitiga does not print fast. It's 75. And any higher than that, you will definitely have layer shift. And a bunch of other problems so I keep it at about 60 to 75 and I will get good prints out of it if you need a tutorial on how to take these apart there is plenty of videos on YouTube or request it in the comments and I will do a detailed video on how to take the extruder apart and put in the bearings and this grease right here goes a long way it's like rattlesnake venom just a little bit and use with the new bearings and make sure you use the mx6 on your hot end threads and on the top no more heat creep make sure you get capricorn tubing only use this for your nozzle and your thermistor and you will be printing the best that your printer can print I've had a lot of requests I'll give you a little update on the s45 the part has not failed it is doing good. I'm probably at about 5,000 rounds. I want to test a little bit more. And it won't be long. Thanks for watching.